Galveston, Texas has been ravaged by some of the most intense hurricanes to have hit North America, the worst being a Category 4 hurricane in 1900, killing between 6,000 and 12,000 people. This, with more recent ones like Ike and Harvey, have taught them to prepare for the worst and how to pick back up when disaster strikes. Fox Weather's Robert Ray is live in Galveston, Texas. Robert, how's the community preparing for this hurricane season? Beautiful along the shores this morning. Yeah, good morning, Jane. It is. It's gorgeous here in Galveston Island, Texas, on the Gulf of Mexico. But I will say it is so muggy, even though there's a nice little breeze here going. But you stand here and you just start dripping. Anything you touch, you just your hand sticks to it because of uh, the, how just moist everything is this morning here in Galveston. Uh, these temps are just outrageous. And there are so many people, over 28 million people, uh, with these extreme temps here in the U.S., but yes, uh, Jane, to your point, yeah, they've seen a lot of hurricanes here, uh, unfortunately. In fact, they built a seawall. We'll take a look at, at some of the video of this area. They built a seawall after the 1900 hurricane that came in that killed, as you stated, anywhere between six and 12,000 uh, people. And that seawall has actually done them well. Uh, I remember during 2008 covering Hurricane Ike, which was a high-end Category 2 uh, storm surge coming in all over the place. The downtown uh, got flooded, and the wave when they hit that seawall went flying up in the air 20 30 feet crashing down so it does bode well for them and then tropical storm nicholas a couple years ago was here for that so yeah it's always on their minds here uh hurricanes and tropical storms especially with these water temperatures being so elevated here this summer people are concerned uh, when I arrived here yesterday on the Cruising Across America series that we're doing, I was in New Orleans, but when I arrived here yesterday evening, uh, I made a phone call to an expert here on the ground. Uh, they call him Hurricane Hal. He's an extreme weather expert. And here's what he told me about the concerns. I think people that have lived here for multiple decades, they're pretty well um, aware about hurricane risk. They're pretty well prepared. I think generally the Texas coast and Louisiana are about as well prepared as anywhere. I saw co comparatively last, last year in western Florida, a lot of people I think were caught off guard by a storm surge event. They weren't as used to that. So here generally the people are pretty well prepared, but we have so many new people that have moved into the area. I think we've had you know, probably more than 100,000 new people have moved into coastal Texas since Hurricane Ike in 2008. So a lot of people have not experienced a hurricane before and really don't know what to do if one comes. And isn't that interesting what he says about all these new people moving in? It's the same thing with the state of Florida, that peninsula. Many people just haven't experienced these tropical systems. Anyway, Jane, cruising across America continues. I'll be live here all morning into the early afternoon. And then I will tell you guys later where I'm headed next on my trip across the country, Jane. Yeah, Robert, you gave me a hint yesterday morning. You said the Wall Street of the South. And so I knew immediately you were going to Galveston. I hope you had a safe drive. Love the cruising across America journey in the Fox Weather Beast. Robert Ray there. We'll check in with you on the beaches of Galveston, Texas. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.